Hi everyone! In the previous video I've shown how to take this test that checks individual elements and checks that each one is visible and refactor it. And instead of hard coding the commands and assertions, we just iterate through the list of selectors and for each we get the selected elements and check if it's visible. Now that's nice, but there is one tiny problem. If the first assertion Fails. For example, if instead of header, I choose headers. Well, the test fails and stops executing commands. Notice it failed at trying to get headers. It never actually checked the footer, didn't check the new to do. The same problem will be in this refactor test. If I check headers, well, it stops checking the other element. And so I don't get the complete information because the test finishes on the first failure, which is expected Cypress behavior and will never change. What can we do instead? Well, we really want to create a test from each selector. And for that, I've written a little plugin called Cypress Each. Let's see how it works. I'm going to exit Cypress. I will install as a dev dependency Cypress Each. I will start back my application and Cypress. And inside the spec, right, I will import Cypress Each. I think this is enough. Uh, I believe we can import in a spec where we wanted to use it or in a support file so that every spec will have it. So what happens is that Cypress each extends it method and describe method. We've described that each and it that each. So here's what we will do. I'm going to delete this. And so now we want to actually create a separate test for each selector. So we need the selectors. Okay. And now I will say for each selectors. Now, this returns a function. And the function now expects a title pattern. And the title pattern, what will be the actual test title that it creates for each selector? So I will say element, and we can say selector is visible. Okay. Actually, we cannot name it. It has to be positional. So whatever is the first argument. And this selector will be given into the callback. So for each selector, you want to create a test and the test will get the selector from this list and will get the title and that selector will be substituted into the title. So what we will do here, we'll visit page and we'll take whatever we had before in the iteration, right? The selector will be passed in the callback and should be visible. So let's see what happens now. Okay. So notice what it has done. It actually created three different tests. For each selector, it creates a separate it test. And the title is whatever the pattern specified. Element, and then selector is visible. So it's selector headers, selector you know, footer, and selector new to do class. And for each, we have a separate test. And if the first selector was incorrect and it, the test failed, no problem. It goes to the next test test and executes it and now we know that the headers is incorrect and our selectors are correct. So try using Cypress each, see if it allows you to do data driven testing and give me any feedback or uh, open any issues that you might find. Find it on my GitHub account.